What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you can get notified of all the latest content as and when it drops. So um, yeah, this video is just to report a little bit of breaking news that um, I just learned of today, this evening, um, which is that reportedly according to, um, I think it's Mike Coppinger, or Mark Coppinger, and um, also Javante Davis is uh, one of his co-trainers, I think Kenny Lewis, um, they've reported, and it's been on Twitter as well, that um, Vasily Lomachenko is apparently willing to step aside um, from the sort of negotiations with uh, Javante Tank Davis in order to allow Tank Davis to face Shakur Stevenson instead. So basically, as you may know, there's been all these rumours and a lot of this talk of uh, Javante Tank Davis taking on Vasily Lomachenko at some point uh, later in this year. That was There was talk of that. I mean, it was never sort of set in stone, but the latest I heard on it was that the two teams were in talks. Lomachenko was willing to do it and uh, Tank was uh, willing to do it as well. But now that it seems that um, Shakur Stevenson has kind of spoiled the party there and um, he's going to get the first dibs on uh, Javante Tank Davis, which um, it's interesting news. Um, I personally think the Lomachenko versus Tank fight would have been the kind of more aesthetically pleasing fight. I think that would have been the more sort of exciting fight, the, the more um, interesting fight. But at the same time, I would concede that um, when you come dealing with Javante Davis and um, Shakur Stevenson, you're dealing with two guys in their prime. So I suppose in that respect, um, you, you know, I suppose that 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 fight has, and and they're two of the best. They're two. They've got certain things going for them. They're both quite young. I mean, I think Stevenson's a little bit younger. Um, but they're both very, very close to their primes. I mean, Tank Davis is sort of in his prime. Um, he's nearly 30 now, and I think Stevenson's is like a couple of years younger. Um, so they're both in that same age group. They're both at the peak of their powers. And yeah, they're both sort of firing on all cylinders. Tank's been looking good. Um, you know, the only blight with D D Davis has been, for me, at least me personally, is that he hasn't fought the best guys available, to be honest with you, at lightweight. And, you know, with Shakur Stevenson, it's one of these things where, you know, again, we, we know he's done good things at weights lower than lightweight. And now we're going to get to see if this is all true in this fight goes ahead. We're going to get to see how he deals with one of the um, elite fighters in the lightweight division. So for me, I'd, I would rather have seen Lomachenko first, but... I'm I'm still happy to see this one. So let me know your thoughts. And until next time, it's MKL Pugilism over and out.